We'll guide you through how to separate an iPhone and an iPad on the same Apple ID. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. So you've got these two devices and you're finding they're a little bit too interconnected to your liking and you want them to be more separate. We'll guide you through how you can achieve this. So to get started, you want to come to one of the devices. In this case, I'm going to do this on the iPad. Open the settings and you can go to the top and press on the Apple ID. Then what you need to do is go and press iCloud and you want to go and find the iCloud apps, press see all. Now you can go through here and start turning these off because for example, right now I'm syncing the notes across my iPhone and my iPad, which I don't want. So I'll go and switch them off like this and we can then go and delete them. And you can repeat that by going down the list and choosing what you want and what you don't want. Next, you may not want to go and receive messages and calls on here. So what you can do is scroll down and find apps and we can press search in the top right and go to messages. We can tap here. What you can do is go and completely turn it off or go and change the send and receive addresses. Do the same thing with FaceTime. You can go and completely turn it off or choose how you're reached at FaceTime and unselect the numbers and emails. And you can also go and switch off calls from iPhone so they don't come through. 